Lecture 3 Articulators. This presentation has been prepared by Musaf Emin, descent of Orthopedic Dentistry Department. Articulator definition. An articulator may be defined as a mechanical device that represents the temporomandibular joint and jaw members to which maxillary and mandibular cuts may be attached to stimulate jaw movement. Mandibular movements basic. Excursion of the mandible in three directions. Downward movement opening of the mouth. Forward movement protrusive. Lateral movements sideways. Basic components of an articulator. Upper member represent maxilla. Low member represent mandible, condylar track, condylar element, vertical road, incisal pin, incisal guide table, crucial curves of teeth. The Bonville triangle. The mandible adapts to a four equilateral triangle. Fasciv bilateral symmetry of mandibular arch. Curve of Wilson. In coronal plane, posterior view transverse. Sphere of Monson. Monson formulates the spherical theory as a three dimensional occlusion model, combining curve of spear and curve of Wilson. Devices that increase motion of mandible, occlusors, articulators, articulators which have middle establishment. A articulators are which middle establishment of arteries. Uh, two articulators with the middle establishment of inclination of arterial and chisel ways. ways. Three articulators with the middle establishment of occlusal curves. Articulators are with individual establishment, arterial articulators, non arterial articulators. Purposes To hold the maxillary and mandibular cast in a determined fixed relationship, mounting of dentist, dental casts for diagnosis treatment planning and patient presentation to simulate the jaw movement like opening and closing, fabrication of occlusal surfaces for dental restoration, arrangement of artificial teeth for the complete and removable per partial denture. Uses to diagnose the state of occlusion in both the natural and artificial dent dentition, to plan the dental procedures based on the relationship between um, opposing natural and artificial teeth, artificial teeth, Ex evolution of the possibility of balance occlusion. to aid in the fabrication of restorations and prosthodontic replacements to correct and modify complete restorations to arrange artificial teeth. Requirements Two types of requirements A. Minimal requirements B. Additional requirements Minimal requirements they are necessary for the fabrication of complete denture to the patient's centric position. They are first, it must be accurately maintained the correct horizontal and vertical relationship of the patient's casts. The casts should be easily removable and attachable to the articulator without losing their correct horizontal and vertical relationship. The articulator should have an incisal guide pin with a positive stop that is adjustable and cali calibrated. 
The articulator should be able to open and close in a angle-like fashion. The articulator should accept a face bow transfer uh, utilizing an anterior reference point. The construction should be accurate, uh, rigid and of non-corrosive material. The moving parts should move freely without any friction. The non-moving parts should be of a rigid construction. The design should be such that there is a big weight distance between the upper and lower members. The articulator should be stable on the laboratory bench and not too bulky and heavy. Additional requirements. <coughs> the condylar guides should allow right lateral, left lateral and protrusive movement. The condylar guides should be adjustable horizontally. The articulator should have provision for adjustment of bayonet movement. The incisal guide table should be mechanical table that can be adjusted in the sagittal and frontal planes or a table that can be customized with auto polymerizing resin or by grinding. Advantages Properly mounted casts allow the operator to better visualize the patient's occlusion, especially from lingual view. Patient cooperation isn't a factor when using an articulator once appropriate interocclusal records are obtained from the patient. It reduced the chair time, patient appointment time. The refinement of complete denture occlusion in the mouse is extremely difficult because of shifting denture based basis and recently of the supporting teeth. Interocclusal records can be obtained and complete denture occlusion can be refined outside the mouse on an articulator. More procedures can be delegated to auxiliary personnel when utilizing an articulator for development of patient's occlusion. The patient's saliva, tongue and cheeks are not factors when using an articulator. Limitations Metal plastic articulators show errors in tooling manufacturing. It not exactly simulate the interborder and functional movements of the mandible. Errors in jaw relation procedure are reproduced as errors in the denture occlusion. Articulators don't have any provision to indicate or correct these errors. Classification of articulators Several bases of classification of articulator were proposed. Some of them are as follows. Based on the instrument function, based on the adjustability of the articulator, based on the location of condylar elements. Based on the adjustability, adjustability, three types A non-adjustable, B semi-adjustable, C fully adjustable. Non-adjustable, an articulator that, does, that doesn't allow adjustment to reply, replicate mandibular movements can open and close in a fixed horizontal axis, have a fixed condylar pass. Semi-adjustable, an articulator that allows adjustment to replicate average mandibular movements, have adjustable horizontal condylar pass, adjustable lateral condylar pass, adjustable incisal guide table and adjustable intercondylar distance. Fully adjustable, an articulator that allows replication of three-dimensional movement of recorded mandibular motion capable of being uh, adjusted to follow the mandibular movement in all direction based on the location of the candle archon non archon based on instrument function 
At the International Prosthodontics Workshop on Complete Denture Occlusion at the University of Michigan of 1972, the articulators classified based on instrument capability, intent, a recording procedure and record acceptance. Consist four classes. Class 1, a simple holding instrument capable of accepting a single static registration, vertical motion is possible, non-adjustable articulator, Class 2, this articulator permits horizontal and vertical movements, but they don't orient the movement to TMG by a face wall. There are type A, B, C, three types. Upper member, triangular frame, vertical rod with some screw, two condylar elements. Long member, a shaped frame, with horizontal and vertical arm. Horizontal arm is triangular and its apex uh, contains incisal guide table. Vertical arm is a rectangular containing candelar guidance slot at upper part, uh, portion. Type A. Instruments in this class permit eccentric motion based on average and will not permit face ball transfer. The candles are on the lower member of articulator, based on Bonville's triangle. Bonville's triangle. Gritman articulator. The Gizzi adaptable and Gizzi simplex articulators. In 19 term, but apparently it was beyond the technical ability and uh, finances of most dentists. For this reason, the Gizzi simplex was introduced as a mean value articulator in 1940. Type B instruments in this class permit eccentric motion based on arbitrary uh, theory of motion and will not accept a phase board transfer based on spheric theory of occlusion it's monsoon's articulator spherical theory articulator by monsoon maxilla mandibular instrument designed in 1980 by george monsoon arose from concepts of monsoon and a german anatomist graph von spee Type C. Instruments in this class permit eccentric motion based on engraved records obtained from the patient and will not accept a Facebook transfer. Houses articulator. Class 3. The articulator permit horizontal and vertical motion and they don't accept Facebook transfer but this facility is limited. They are type A, type B. Incisal guide table contain very short cylinder whose upper surface in concave vertical rod should rest on the center of the incisal guide table during articulation. Uh, condylar guidance represented by a slot condylar track. Condylar element of the upper member passes through this track. A spring is mounted within this track to establish the condylar elements. Vertical rod of or incisal pin helps to keep a fixed distance between the upper and lower member at anterior end. The pointed tip of vertical rod should rest off on the center of incisal guide during articulation. Incisal guide pin present at the midpoint of vertical rod. The incisal edge of mandibular of maxillary incisors at the mid line of the occlusal rim should touch the tip of incisal pin during articulation. It presents the anterior reference point. Type A. 
This accept a phase ball transfer and the protrusive intraocclusal record. Spach now articulator. Hanau H2 articulator, Bergstrom articulator. Hanau model H2 series. Then the dentalsus arrow articulator. Dentatus arrow, arrow articulator. Type B instrument in this class except a Facebook transfer, protrusive intraocclusal records, and some lateral intraocclusal records. Tribute articulator, tripod articulator, new articulator, canal, teledyne articulator. And Penadent articulator by Gizzi, Stanberry, Del Pietro, Richard Bue, and James Janik, Richard Bue, and Robert Lee. Whip mix articulator in three sizes small, medium, and large. Stanberry tripod instrument designed without a hino, no mechanical equipment or representation of candles a new articulator an arcon instrument with no locking device meter interchangeable candular pass and the elements are adjustable in all three planes to accept our positional records now model kinoscope double candular posts on each side inner posts serve two purposes they act as the horizontal condylar guides. Bennett angle is adjusted by rotating an eccentric cone. Thank you, man articulator. PMC philosophy. Part 1 – Examination, Diagnosis, Treatment Planning and Prognosis Part 2 – Harmonization of the anterior guidance for best possible aesthetics, function and comfort Part 3 – Selection of an acceptable occlusal plane and restoration of the lower posterior occlusion in harmony with the anterior guidance in a manner that will not interfere with condylar guidance Part 4 – Restoration of the upper posterior occlusion in harmony with the anterior guidance and condylar guidance. The functionally generated path technique is so closely allied with this part of the reconstruction. In class 4, the, this articulator accepts three-dimensional dynamic registrations. They are capable of accurately reproducing the condylar path way for each patient. They are type A, type B. Type A. Instruments in this class will accept three-dimensional dynamic registrations and utilize a phase transfer. The condylar pathways are formed by registration engraved by the patient. TMG articulator, Kenneth Svensson articulator. Stereograph articulator, TMG articulator. Type B, similar to type A and condylar pathway, can be selectively angled and customized. The procedure utilizes the pantographic tacking. Pantronic articulator, Denner by Denner, Knotoscope by Charles Stewart, and others. Standard model D4A articulator simulator, fully adjustable articulator that can be set from pantographic tracking, positional records, and other trackings. Based on theories of articulator, a bonger theory articulator, conical theory articulator, rear hole. Spherical theory articulator by Monson. 
based on the adjustable three types a non adjustable semi adjustable fully adjustable non adjustable can open and close in a fixed horizontal axis have a fixed condylar pass the incisal pins right on an inclined plate on a fixed inclination semi adjustable have adjustable horizontal condylar pass adjustable lateral condylar pass adjustable incisal guard table and adjustable intercondylar distance two type archon type non archon type fully adjustable capable of being adjusted to follow the mandibular movement in all direction they do not have a condylar guidance instead they have the septic labels steward gnatoscope simulator basic component of an articulator as upper member lower member condylar track condylar element vertical road incisal guide table some commonly used articulator mean value articulator Hana white view articulator whip mix articulator then articulator panadent articulator TMG articulator mean value articulator upper member triangular frame vertical rod with some screw two candular elements lower member shaped frame with horizontal and vertical arm Horizontal arm is triangular as its apex contain incisal guide table. Vertical arm is rectangular contained condylar guidance slot at upper portion. Incisal guide table contain very short cylinder whose upper surface is concave. Vertical rod should rest on the center of the incisal guide table during articulation. Condylar guidance represented by a slot condylar track. Condylar element of upper member passes through this track. A spring is mounted within this track to establish the condylar element. Vertical rod of incisal pin helps to keep a fixed distance between the upper and lower member at anterior end. The pointed tip of vertical rod should rest on the center of incisal guide during articulation. Incisal guide pin present at the midpoint of vertical road, the incisal edge of the maxillar incisors at the mid line of the occlusal rim should touch the tip of incisal pin during articulation. It presents the anterior reference point. And now articulators, and now what you articulators, and now what you two articulators. Now hash two articulator, Hanau Arcon articulator, Hanau radial shift. Hanau wide view articulator, semi adjustable Arcon type, accept the phase ball transfer, capable of him and lateral movements. Upper member T shaped with vertical and horizontal arm, condylar guidance attached to these. Mountain dowels present the center of under surface orbital indicator present near dowel. Lower member L shaped with horizontal and vertical arm. Horizontal arm is rectangular metal strap. <coughs> dowel present center of the lower member, the mounting ring and also stand pivot. Vertical arm slope outward. Upper portion of vertical arm contain a row pin which project on the other surface. The condylar shaft attached to inner surface of the vertical arm 20-30 mm anterior to the row pin. The condylar element metal bow is attached to the free end of the condylar shaft. Condylar guidance. It's 
circular structure with a slot in the center. The condyl element of lower member articulate with this slot, also called condylar track. The posterior end of this track has a component known as centric stop. The condylar element should contact the centric stop during articulation. The condylar guidance can be rotated around the vertical axis to set the Bennett angle. Bennett angle H equal horizontal condylar inclination. Sizzle guide table. It's a custom customized sizzle guide table. The slope of the uh, incisal guide table can be changed in the anterior posterior direction and can lock in position with a lock nut. During articulation it should be flat and the incisal pin should be at in center. A pair of lateral wings is present around it. Incisal pin. It's a double-sided pin. One end of in a sharp but chisel-like with flat edge. The other end tapers to a pointed tip. Usually the flat end is used. The incisal pin has series of marking closely placed in one end and two widely spaced marking of uh, in other end. The upper member of the articulator should be at the level of the darkest marking of the close marking. The space out marking acts as the anterior reference point in the absence of phase ball transfer. Anaus H2 Designed by Rudolf Hanau, it is an archon-type articulator. It has a fixed intercondylar distance of 110 mm and doesn't accept a phase ball transfer. <coughs> Four different phase ball can be utilized. Fascia phase ball, earpiece phase ball, twirled, uh, fa twirled uh, phase ball, adjustable axis phase ball. Hanau radial shift. Structure is almost the same as Hanau series articulator. It has right and left centric latches and the upper member is easily removed for waxing. The radial shift adjustment has a 3 mm radius and a low up to 3 mm of radial shift before intercepting pre-adjusted uh, progressive bayonet angle. Hanau wide view 2. The only difference between Hanau wide view and we now white view 2 that the white view has way close condylar track. The close condylar track doesn't allow the upper member to be removed, whereas the open condylar track allows the upper member to the to be removed from waxing. The next whip mix articulator designed by Dr. Charles Stewart is an arc articulator. The upper and lower member are mechanically attached by means of a spring latch assembly. The original model and uh, the condylar elements on the lower frame and adjustable to three position, small, medium and large. Two different phase balls can utilize quick mount or earpiece phase ball for complete denture, the adjustable axis for fixed prosthodontics. The intercondylar distance is determined from the scale on the phase ball SML. The articulator has pins on the uh, outer flanks on the condylar guides and corresponding holes on the medial side on, of the earpieces of the phase ball make for easy transfer of the phase ball record to the articulator. Modifications Then the articulators are type. The articulator is a two pieces instrument incorporating a positive locking mechanism that can hold the two member together by means of centric latch. 
the condylar elements are at a fixed 110 millimeter intercondylar distance however an adjustable distance 110 to 122 millimeter option is available four types of phase bow can be used passive phase bow earpiece phase bow cinematic phase bow adjustable axis phase bow the cinematic phase bow has a future of unique slide gear mechanism machinism with make it easy and quick to assemble the Mark II can be programmed using anatomic average positional records or with a mini recorder only. It's a newest dinner articulator. TMG articulator designed by Kenneth Swanson. The articulator has a spring loaded latch to help return the upper frame to the centric relation position. There is curved incisal guide pin with balls and with balls a plastic and adjustable uh, conical incisal table. Small version of the articulator is available and is called the mini articulator. Its intercondylar distance is limited and has a straight incisal guide pin <coughs> dentatus it's a shaft type instrument the condylar element attached to the upper member and the condylar pass is straight the intercondylar distance is fixed the articulator received a hing angle axis face bow the features are similar to a now model Selection of, as an, uh, selection of an articulator One shouldn't use two complex instruments for a simple case or two simple articulators for a complex case. The following factors pertain to the understanding and selections. Articulator movement of the condylar elements don't reproduce condylar movement in the temporomandibular joint. The goal <coughs> of articulation is to duplicate tooth movements along bo border pathways in at least two planes of space. The most important requirements of an articulator are to maintain centric relation and the vertical dimension of occlusion. Fixed condylar elements at 110 mm are all that is necessary. An adjustable intercondylar capability may permit more records to be accepted. The articulator should be able to receive a feasible transfer record. The articulator should have the capability of adjustment for procurement of immediate side shift up to at least 2.5 mm. An adjustable mechanical incisal guide table cannot reproduce the natural guidance of anterior teeth. A stereograph pantograph has limited value for all but a few types of prostodontics situation. The sophisti uh, sophistication of articulators should not exceed the level of training and ability of the personnel that will be fabricating the restorations mounting procedure mounting of maxillary cast mounting of mandibular cast mounting of maxillary cast maxillary cast is attached to the articulator using the orientation jaw relation record the procedure of transferring the orientation jaw relation to the articulator is called phase bow transfer. The earpiece of the phase bow is attached to the row pin of the articulator. This transfers the posterior reference point of the phase bow to the articulator. The anterior reference point should be positioned by 
making the orbital indicator contact the orbital pointer of the phase bore. Private stand attached to the lower member of the articulator also helps to prevent vertical displacement of the occlusal rim during articulation. Mounting of mandibular casts. Tighten the centric lock on each enclosed condylar track mechanism to ensure that the articulator is capable of nothing but an ink opening. Invert the articulator on the bench top resting it on the three thumb nuts um, protruding from the upper member of the articulator. Place the centric relation and the occlusal wax record on the teeth of maxillary cast. Be sure that the teeth sit completely into wax record. Place the mandibular cast into interocclusal record. There should be no contact between the maxillar and mandibular cast. Remove the mandibular cast and soak it for about two minutes in slurry water. Reseed the soaked mandibular cast into the record and mount it back plaster stone. Inspect the articulated cast. The candle is in the retruded position in its candular track mechanism. Both casts are seated completely in the intraocclusal wax record. Mounting stone is uh, securely attached to both costs and mounting plated. Conclusion An articulator is an important device that mechanical analogs the temporal mandibular joint and upper and lower dental arch, a device to which maxillar and mandibular cast can be attached with the intent of simulating the functional and parafunctional contact relationships of the arch to the other. Selection and arrangement of teeth for complete dentures. Introduction. After cats are mounted and occlusal scheme determined, maintenance of vertical dimension, anterior teeth, primarily aesthetics, posterior teeth for mastication, harmony. Why selection and arrangement deserve special attention? Absence of periodontium, single unit on an unilding base, necessity of bilateral balance, consequence of malocclusion, bearing of non-vertical forces, first molar and second premolar area, proprioception, incising with natural T's. Review of literature. Anterior to selection, one size, two form, three shade, and uh, four material. Size of anterior teeth, size of face and head, bisigomatic white uh, maxillary anteriors, bisigomatic white maxillary central, weight of face maxillary central. Tenant one ratio of cranial circumference to upper anterior teeth. Anatomical landmarks. Mark corners of mouth on wax occlusal rims. Extension of parallel lines from lateral surface. Ovala of nose onto maxillary occlusal rim. A line 
perpendicular to midline of palate through distal border of incisive papilla. Maxillary mandibular relations, mandibular anteriors, class 2 and 3 arch, a contour of residual ridge, teeth placed to follow contour and size selected according to this position, vertical distance between the ridges, lips selection of lanes of maxillary anteriors. Highest point of upper lip when smiling, smiling, cervical necks at or above this line. If shorter teeth are selected, aesthetics compromised. High lip line. Nose. Distance between tips of canine is same as that of base of nose. Filtrum. Whites of upper centrals approximates the white of filtrum. Pre extraction records. Facial photographs, diagnostic casts, radiographs, teeth of close relatives, extracted teeth. Form of anterior teeth. Pre extraction records. Form and Counter of face. Lion Williams classification. Square, square tapering, tapering, avoid. Dentogenic concept. Fresh and tissue, then diastatics. Sex factors. Feminine, softness, masculine, boldness and hardness. Personality factor. Vigorous type, medium type, and delicate type, age factor, incisal age, erosion, diastema, steeping, steepling of interdental papilla. Shade selection for anterior teeth. Shade selection alongside of nose, basic U value and chroma, under lips only incisal edge exposed, effect of color with mouth relaxed, under lips only cervical and covered smile, use of spine test. Posterior to selection, size, form, shade. Sives of posterior teeth, bucolingual wise, sufficient to act as a table to hold food, less than white of natural teeth, not to encroach on tongue space and buccal corridor, limits forces directed to reach. Mesio distal wise. A dental space available, placed as far as possible posteriorly, not over beginning of ascending area of ramus and retromolar pad. Occlusion gingival head determined by available interreach space, occlusal plane and head of anterior teeth. Teeth with largest possible vertical head where that can be used without grinding are preferred for aesthetics. Form of posterior teeth. Anatomic teeth, cusp teeth, simulate occlusal surface, varying degrees of inclinations. Standard is uh, 33. Cusp incline is termed uh, semi anatomic teeth. Advantage, uh, disadvantages. Non anatomic teeth. Cuspless, non monoplane or zero degree teeth 
offer less resistance to horizontal forces, bruxism, poor residual reach, uncoordinated muscular movements, more relationship of jaws class 2 and 3. Disadvantages uh, sharing efficiently, poor aesthetics, lateral and protrusive balance not possible. Shade of posterior teeth harmonize with the shade of the anterior teeth, bark influences the shade of teeth, select a slightly lighter shade for the premolars. Selection of tooth material resin, composite resin, acrylic resin, monolithic, cross linked, I've been and linked, porcelain, when aesthetics are paramount. Adequate interarch space is available. Resin and porcelain teeth wear potential, grinding and adjusting, bonding to denture base, version of opposing dentures, dentitish, dentition, color stability, impact sound, ribbon zinc, impact resistant. Posterior tooth forms historical development. Tribute teeth by Gizi, channel tooth by Searles, metal insert in resin by Vincent, cross blades by Sosin. Non anatomic teeth, inverted cusp tooth by hole sharp, concentric reach around cup like depressions. True cusp by Merson, buccal lingual reach with slice base between them, chopping block by Nelson, non lock by Svensson, Italian occlusal by Hardy. This arrangement, anatomical landmarks, ridge relation, balanced occlusion, natural zone. Anatomical landmarks, residual reach position in relation to reach due to resorptive. resorptive pattern, arch form, square tapering, tapering and void arch forms. Retromolar pad. Too low an occlusal plane causes turn beating and too high a occlusal plane can cause instability and strain. Parotid duct. Maxillary first molar labial surface of canine 10.48 mm incisive papilla midline central incisor perpendicular line this arrangement for class 1 reach relation wax rim contours air aid selection and setting occlusal vertical dimension angulation of facial rims affects lip support over jet. Place reference marks on the occlusion rims to aid in tools selection and placement. Orientation of occlusion plane. Occlusion plane upper rim anteriorly parallel to interpupillary line, posteriorly parallel to campers line. Power rim anteriorly lower lip, posteriorly half to and third retromolar pad. Central incisor, long axis parallel to the long axis of the patient face, the midline of the dental arch, the center of face, labial contour, blend with the contour of face, rotation of long on long axis, varies depending on arch form. Maxillary lateral incisor set at angle of five angle to the perpendicular incisor edge is about one millimeter short of the horizontal plane. Labial surface is inside at the cervical end, uh, and distal half of rotated uh, slide uh, lingually. Canine. Cervical end is more prominent, labially 
Canine is the turning point of arch. Mesial half is harmony with the antis. Uh, distal half harmony with postis. Tip of cups is in contact with the occlusal plane. Anterior teeth will generally follow the contours of the lower lip. Anterior teeth position incorrectly. This setup doesn't follow the contour of the lower lip. The lower anterior teeth. Central is the long axis parallel to vertical viewed from front. Sloped labially when viewed from side. Sizzle edge uh, 1 and 2 mm above the horizontal plane. Lateral and sizzle long axis parallel to the vertical viewed from the from slope labially. Canine long axis slightly learn to work midline when viewed from front. Slightly lingually when viewed from side. Cusp is slightly above 1.2 mm above the horizontal plane. Canine K of occlusion, the distal incline of the lower canine should align with the mesial incline of the upper canine. Limits to placing anterior teeth. The medial lateral and anterior posterior position of maxillary and teeth limited by phonetics and aesthetics. Phonetics are long teeth F sound like V, S sounds too long, two tongue positions, palate, lower anterior teeth. For example, 66. Upper posterior teeth arrangement. First premolar long axis parallel to vertical axis when view from labial side. Palatal cusp is one. 0.2 minus soap of its buccal cusp from horizontal plane. Due consideration is given in aesthetics in female. Second premolar, both buccal and palatinal cusps touch the occlusal plane. The first molar, long axis, long axis slopes buccally when viewed distally from side, mesolingual cusp. Molar keel occlusion, the Mesobuccal cusp of the maxillary permanent molars should coincide with the mesobuccal groove on the mandibular permanent molar. Second molar more inclined than first molar cusps above horizontal plane. Maxillary teeth set checked on a flat plane. Lower posterior teeth. First premolar long axis parallel to the vertical axis, lingual cusp is below the horizontal plane, buccal cusp about 0.2 mm above occlusal plane, second premolar long axis parallel to vertical axis, both cusp are about uh, 0.2 mm above the horizontal plane, the first molar long axis uh, leans lingually when viewed from the front mesially when viewed from the side. All the cusps are at a higher, higher level above the horizontal plane than those of second premolar. Second molar more inclined than first molar cusps above horizontal plane. Buccal corridor spaced baby buccal surface of posterior teeth and inner surface of cheeks. Excessive buccal corridor results when posterior teeth are set too far lingually. Result, thin dark space appears excessive and anesthetics. <sighs> Inadequate buccal corridor occurred when uh, posterior teeth are placed too far buccally, uh, causing obliteration of buccal corridor. Teeth arrangement checked in patient mouse. Setup of class 2 and 3 classes. Cases. Setup in class 2 jaw relations. In this setting, the flattened 
lingual cusp of upper premolars occludes, occludes with the flattened buccal cusp of lower premolars and a large buccal horizontal overlap occurs in the buccuspid area. Upper molars are set with their lingual cusp in the modified central cusp of the lower teeth. Posteriors should have a centric occlusion with stable non-deflective stops. Set up in class 3 relation. If ridges are edge to edge, then anterior teeth are also placed edge to edge. In cases of extreme protrusion, negative or reverse horizontal overlap is used. A larger lower tooth mold can be used. Interchange of upper and lower teeth. First premolar may be eliminated from upper arch. Transverse ridges of upper posteriors are grinded a way to eliminate mesodistal interlocking. Balanced occlusion. After centric balance is achieved, teeth arrangement is modified to achieve a centric balance. At least a semi-adjustable articulator is required. For lateral balance, buccal cusps of posterior teeth should contact on working side and on non-working side, contact should occur between mandibular buccal and maxillary palatal cusps. To develop balanced occlusion in protrusion with the anterior teeth edge to edge, contact should uh, simultaneously be established in the posterior teeth. Factors affecting balance. Condylar inclination cannot be altered. Incisal guidance can be manipulated limitedly. Cuspal inclination is determined by selection of teeth. So mainly the anterior posterior curves be influence protrusive balance. <coughs> Choose uh, steeper as a condylar inclination. Steeper should be as a uh, compensating curve with low cuspal inclination to achieve protrusive balance while maintaining the centric contacts. Setup is natural zone technique. Natural mm, zone is recorded. Impression is indexed. Teeth arrangement is guided by index. Posterior teeth may require to be trimmed lingually so that the fit into index space. Polished surface of denture are also contoured to replay, replicate record. Characterization. Subtle cheap stains make teeth look more natural. Highest quality of art is to conceal art. Conclusion: Selection and arrangement of teeth is an art based upon biomechanical factors governing the ultimate uh, success of dentures. Waxing and carrying of complete dentures. Waxing is contouring of wax pattern of the wax base of trial denture into desired form, the polished surface outer surface which will be in contact with oral teeth, lip, cheek and tongue, must be smooth and have natural details. This develops by contouring the wax. The form of polished surface of denture influences its retention quality, aesthetic values of the denture. The polished surface is determined by one the wide of the border of the denture, the buccalingual position of artificial teeth, and three the fullness given to the wax to obtain convexity and concavity in the facial and lingual aspects. The incl inclined plane action of the muscles of cheek and tongue, this horizontal force exert in the direction of the occlusal plane by the tongue and cheek can act either and placing or 
displacing agent depending on the shape of the polished surface. When the lingual and buccal surface of a mandibular denture are being shaped, they can be made concave so that the tongue and cheek will grip and tend to seat the denture. In the opposite case, we in lingual and the buccal surface are made convex by waxing and a narrow impression base used. The inclined plane forces resulting from pressures of the tongue and cheeks will tend to incite the danger. The buccal-lingual position of the teeth is important because the buccal position of the teeth would necessitate shaping the surface of the denture base in such a manner that the muscle action of the cheeks would tend to unset the mandibular denture. The buccal surface of the mandibular dentures in the first premolar region should be shaped carefully so as no, not to interfere with the action of the modulus connecting the facial muscles with the uh, orbicularis oris. This connecting point of the muscles can display the mandibular denture if the polished surface inclines towards the cheek or if uh, the arch in the premolar region is too wide. The wax surface around the teeth are known as the arch portion of the polished uh, surface and should be static aesthetic reasons imitate the form of the tissues around the natural teeth. Requirements of waxing the polished surface. They should duplicate the covered the soft tissues as accurately as possible, realistic, not exaggerate. The borders, both labial and buccal, should fool the vestibule, not should be provided to accommodate the mucous membrane attachment frenum, both in size and direction. The contour of the denture flanks should be compatible with the drape of cheek and lips. The contour of the lingual flanks should be compatible with the tongue. The palatal um, section of the maxillary denture should be nearly a reproduction of the patient palate and look. The procedure of waxing. waxing. Contour the wax carefully to prevent movement of teeth. Avoid a bulky wax up. The additional bulk of acrylic resin may contribute to porosity and uh, dimensional processing error. Place strips of base plate wax along the face surface of the trained denture so that extend from the gingival third of the teeth to the edge of the cusp. With uh, a hot spatula lute the uh, strips to the underlying wax at 1-4 inch uh, intervals and melt the wax into contact with necks of the teeth. After the wax has cooled, cut the interdental papilla, they vary with the age of patient, develop the margin by the carving with an edge no 5 or lacrosse carver at 45 angle and to the neck of the teeth. The posterior area should have a marked fullness. Wax the lingual flange on the mandible denture uh, sickly enough to full all depressions and to slope down from the necks of the teeth and invert towards the tongue. The slope of the flange should be free from the undercuts and very slightly concave at, a, or, at or near the lower border. Contour the wax around the necks or the maxillary posterior artificial teeth to form part of the clinical crowns and make these teeth more natural in size and more comparable, compatible to the tongue. The palatal surface of maxillary denture should be waxed to a uniform thickness or 2.5 uh, mm when the processed resin is smoothed and 
uh, polished the palette uh, will be as seen as possible and yet surfacely seek to provide a detailed strange stippling of the wax an alternative to gingival contouring some people stipple the wax and this procedure a finished denture whose surface shows as orange peel effect product product produce a very pleasing um, result this may be produced by taping the surface of the wax with the bristles of a toothbrush after first warming the surface softens the wax or by running over the surface of the wax with a small burnishing burr rotor thing in a hand piece. The advantage of uh, stippling is that it produced a denture which is more liable to contamination by calculus deposits. If it don't it should be confined to the area on of the denture which can be seen when the patient grains broadly. After the wax has been contoured, smooth it by flaming at the polished it with we cotton. Establishing the posterior palatal seal. Establishing the posterior palatal seal. Posterior palatal seal area. It is a soft tissue along the uh, region on the of the movable and non-movable part of the soft palates, on which pressure within physiologic limits of the tissues can be applied by a denture to aid in the retention of the denture. The posterior border of the denture is determined in the mouth and its location is transferred onto the cast. The locations of right and left hamular notches are marked with an indelible pencil. Then the location of favea palate near the median palate suture is marked. The vibrating line of the soft palate normally used as a guide to the as a guide to the ideal posterior border of the denture, it may be slightly posterior to the favea palatin. Procedure for carrying of posterior palate seal area. A B shaped groove 5 at uh, 1 or uh, 1.5 mm deep is carved into the cast at the location of the bead. A large a sharp uh, scraper is used to carve it passing through the hamular notch and cross the palate of the casts. The groove will form a bit of on the denture that provides the posterior palatal seal area. The bill will be uh, 1, 1.5 mm high and 1.5 wide at its base. Advantage of posterior palatal seal. It helps to determine the posterior border of maxillar denture. It helps to compensate for the shrinkage of the acrylic resin in this area during processing. Provide a good seal in this posterior area of the maxillary arch which increase retention. It prevents food to enter under the maxillary denture reduce the tendency for gag reflex. Identification of complete denture problem. S a summary. Contents. Introduction. In this part we will discuss factors resulting in discomfort associated with dentures, factors resulting in 
looseness of the dentures, factors associated with problems of adaption. Introduction A list of factors resulting in discomfort related to the impression surface of dentures. Factors resulting in discomfort relating to occlusal and polished surfaces. Check and or lip beating, thumb beating, related polished surfaces. Factors resulting in discomfort factors with possible systemic associations. A looseness of dangers, factors resulting in a looseness of dangers arising from decreased retention factors, air burns the impression surface, cerastomia, neuromuscular control, factor resulting in looseness of dentures arising from increased displacing force, a list of denture problems associated with problems of adaption, Noise on eating, speaking, eating difficulties, blunt teeth, jaw closed too far, cannot open mouth wide enough for food, speech problems, gagging, appearance, too much visibility of teeth, Creases at corners of mouth, natural color of denture base material. Conclusion It's important to understand that our patients don't function like the static entities of impression materials or articulators. Complete dentures can be very rewarding through the use of proper procedures during fabrication and a clear understanding of post insertion adjustment techniques. With a little time and focus the prosthetics provided to the patient should provide years of satisfaction and aesthetic and functional enjoyment for the patient.